So this is just some uh, tips and tricks for uh, making your interviews really successful as part of the research project. So one of the first things you want to think about is who you've actually targeted for your interviews and why. And this thinking should be part of your planning of your um, primary processes. So it should be documented in your folio somewhere. So it's not just as simple as I want to talk to an expert and get some information. What you should really be thinking about is how did you find them? How did you find their name? What can they give you that they wouldn't be able to get elsewhere? You know, why not just Google it? You basically want to prove that the person you're talking to is going to add something to your project that you wouldn't have otherwise. So, for example, I've got, um, you know, you might find an author who wrote an article and it raised some really interesting issues for you. So you actually want to contact them to clarify something. Or maybe you want to extend what they've talked about. Maybe you want to challenge something that they wrote. Or maybe you found a mistake. Um, maybe you want to talk to someone who's experienced your topic so that you can actually find out more about it. Um, maybe you did find an expert in your area and maybe they've got some knowledge that you don't have and you'd like to be able to work um, to develop. So really think about who you're interviewing and why, because it's going to shape um, your preparation. So when you're preparing, because you've done your background research on the person and their expertise, you'll be able to um, link them properly to your topic. So don't contact anyone unless you know lots about them and their relevance to your topic. And don't contact them unless you've already read some information about your topic and you can confidently talk about your topic um, using the right terminology and the right ideas. Then because you know the person and their uh, usefulness to you and you know why they meet your background research, all of your questions will be linked to them specifically. And that means as well that all of the questions you write for them are going to be linked to your focus questions and your research. So you'll have stalked them to actually get a really good outcome. What this means is when you then go further to design your questions, you have a really clear structure for your interaction. You start off with some nice introductory questions, then you start to work through your focus areas you link it to your different focus questions and you show that um, you've done research. So where possible, you say to them, look, I know that you researched this area and so I want your opinion on this. Or I've read about this from this magazine. Can you tell me something more about it? The other thing is that you really want to try and target them um, to talk about their experiences or their ideas and really try and guide them what type of information you want. So do you want their professional experiences? Do you want them to draw on the research they've done in that area? You know, really guide them towards that. When you're actually doing the interview, don't forget to record it, but always make sure you ask permission. Use um, your phone voice memo or Zoom or whatever it is that um, you're doing an interview on to record so that you have a backup copy. Make sure you've always got your interview questions in front of you um, and make sure that you're taking notes as you go along, just keywords or things that you might need to clarify um, or key points that come out. Don't try and scribe the entire interview. Lucky last, don't forget to thank the people who have helped you. Um, you might send them a card, you might send them an email, um, you might do a shout out in your outcome, um, but you want to really show your gratitude at their time. Um, when you're working with them, definitely follow your ethics, make sure that the uh, permission is gained via email or in a permission slip um, or verbally, make sure that it's really clear what they're giving permission for. And remember that an interview doesn't just have to be an interaction in person. It could be something that you do via um, an online platform. It could be a back and forth between emails. Um, it just requires you to have interacted with someone in some way. Good luck.